hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video i'm going to show you how to create a dust particles in unity for your 2d or 3d game so uh, let me show you what we will made so i have a particle system object game object here called my dust so let me play it so as you can see here that uh, we have some uh, dust clouds that we will use in our game when our player jumps from one tile to another tile so uh, these particles will be play so uh, let me show you how this will look in our game so uh, we will use these particles in our uh, game in the next video so uh, you will notice some particles when we hit the next tile as you can see that we are getting the uh, dust effect inside our game so uh, this is actually very simple but for that we need a texture i will uh, put this uh, whole uh, package in the description of my video you can download it from there so uh, first thing you need to do is go ahead and click on create then go to effects and create a particle system so after that you need to uh, do some changes here so as you can see that i have my particle system here so first thing you need to do is change the duration to one second and make sure that looping checkbox is unchecked so then the start delay should be zero start lifetime should be 0 0.5 and start speed should be uh, between two constants so you can uh, go here and change it to random between two constant and put two and three here start size we want it to 1.25 and uh, then the start color so uh, in the start start color should be at uh, should be white and the opacity or alpha should be at 87 or uh, you can increase it if you like then we have play on awake checked and the rest of the properties are default then we need to go to emission inside emission make sure that rate over time is zero and rate over distance is also zero and in the burst we you need to uh, click on the plus button and add a burst here so the count should be five and cycles is one then the next thing is shape you need to go to the shape and make sure the shape is set to cone so by default it will be cone and the angle should be 40 and the radius should be 0 0.5 radius thickness is 1 and the arc is 150 now the rest of the uh, properties are default and then we need to go to color over lifetime and in that uh, make sure it's set to gradient and click on it and at the top corner click on it and make sure that the alpha value is zero so we want our dust particles to fade away so after that we need to go to star size over lifetime and make sure that here we have uh, multiple curves so select curve and select the curve from uh, at the start we want it to uh, at uh, low and at the end we want it to make at high so it is increasing now the next thing is rotation over lifetime and the angular velocity should be random between two constant from y minus 180 to 180 
now the main thing that you need to do is in the renderer section so in that uh, you need a material so I as you can see that I have a material here called dust cloud so uh, dust cloud is so uh, you need to uh, in the assets folder create a new material like I have here and uh, in the material make sure that the shader is uh, change the shader to particles alpha blended so you need to go to the particles and select alpha blended and in the texture uh, you need to uh, provide it the dust cloud so if I here you can see that we have our dust cloud texture so again I will put it in the description you can download it from there now uh, <coughs> the tiling is uh, one one and rest of the things are default so what you need to do is in the renderer section you need to drag and drop this in in the material property and a rendered board should be build board normal direction is one and the rest of properties are the default so uh, that's it and we are going to uh, use it inside our video uh, inside our game in the next video